Let's start by making a flat horizontal oval somewhere near the top. Two vertical lines, one to the left, one to the right. Draw a curve to connect. Then make an opposite curve on the inside. Don't forget the liquid. Make a flat oval from one side to the next. Draw a couple horizontal lines on one side to represent the measurements. Now, let's draw a smaller flat oval over on the right. Two vertical lines again, a diagonal line to the left, a diagonal line to the right, and let's curve again to connect. Decide where you want your liquid to be and make a flat oval there. Now we're going to make a spherical beaker. Start with the flat oval again, two short vertical lines, curve to the left, big curve to the right, and a flat oval at the bottom to keep it from rolling off our table. Decide where you want your liquid. Flat oval again, one side to the other, and a few science lines. Now let's add the tabletop. Since these items are transparent, we want to see a little bit of the table through each of them. Now let's draw some circles to represent bubbles in our science beakers. You decide how many bubbles you want to put in. The more bubbles, the bigger the chemical reaction. Now it's time to add color to our beakers. If you don't have paint, grab some markers. Just make sure they say washable on the label. Washable markers can be easily turned into paint with just some water. I want my beakers to look like a colorful chemical mixture happened in the beakers, so I'm going to color one half with one color and the bottom half with another. Do this for all three beakers. If you're not sure which colors will work best, just pick your primary colors. Now I'm going to get a paintbrush and water and paint right over my markers. The washable markers turn right into watercolor paint. Don't forget to paint all of your bubbles. Last step is the color in your tabletop. You can make your table any color. You don't have to do this next step, but I'm grabbing black and adding a shadow on the left of each of my beakers. Now it's time to grab that water and paintbrush again and paint over all of my markers.